Dad seemed to love to grill. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's something about the heat, something very primal, I think. Uh, dads feel so much more confident when they're grilling than they do when they're in the kitchen. The grill is definitely where Dad feels he belongs. He's in the backyard, his little fiefdom. He's got the smoke, it's very primal. And there's really only like two temperatures, hot and not hot. The grill brings a lot of flavor to the food and uh, it allows uh, someone who maybe doesn't feel like the best chef to create something that's totally fantastic. Uh, in the book, there's uh, all kinds of really easy recipes with not many uh, ingredients, but the results are something really uncanny, and it's something magical that happens around the heat, the, the coals or, or the gas. Uh, something about cooking outside and brings that kind of particular flavor and, and texture to the food that's on the grill. All right, all you dads out there, we're going to make a really simple, wonderful meal right before your very eyes. Got this fantastic skirt steak that I've got coated with uh, a little chili powder, a little garlic powder, salt, pepper. Real simple, we're gonna throw that on the grill in a little while. And then we're gonna use that to make some tacos. To go with that, we're gonna start off with some guacamole. Guacamole could not be easier and uh, something that everyone loves. And when made right, it, uh, it just warms the soul. Garlic. It's scary, I know. Once you get the hang of it, you're going to want to do it. You're going to dream about doing it. You're going to think, honey, get me some garlic for Father's Day. I feel like peeling right now. Cilantro, which is in the supermarket, always infuriatingly right next to the Italian parsley. And even though they look alike, they taste completely differently. Here's a little trick you've probably seen some chefs do. is just to roll your hand on top of the lime. And that liberates the juices. So it makes it a lot easier to squeeze. And now, the trick to guacamole is to use the old-fashioned potato masher. The best tool for this is, as you will see, very quickly it incorporates into the perfect consistency. Well, now I think we're ready to, to cook up the skirt steak. Um, this is exciting. It's a great cut. That deep red color is just what you'd like to see. That's from the chili seasoning, working its magic. I'm also gonna cook up some of uh, these potatoes. These have already parboiled, so they're almost all the way cooked through. And what I'm gonna do is just give them some nice flavor from the, from the grill and, um, and then take them off and cover those with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Let that sit, let the juices um, get nice and uh, Reincorporate it into the meat. Here we go. It's a beautiful pile, perfectly cooked skirt steak. I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt over that. A little more chopped cilantro just for color, like that. And then I'm going to do the last little lime right on top. And this is all ready to go. I dig in, everybody. I think my favorite thing about grilling is the pleasure that uh, my family has whenever I come in to the porch with a big platter full of stuff and lay it out on the table. And everyone just feels really taken care of and really excited about eating dinner. And everyone's just smiling. And uh, that feeling, that feeling of bringing great food to the table is uh, really the best part of grilling. Uh -huh.